as per the previous video this is the column and this is the value that's why i am creating a new uh, yeah i am creating new class uh, which is nothing but dto so let's create a dto first so i am creating the package dto and inside the package i put a two class first one is the request dto and another one is the search request dto okay request dto and another class is a search request dto uh, okay so the another class is s search and i think you okay so i created two class so inside the search request dto i uh, i take two parameter one is column name and another uh, is like value okay so uh, it's like string column okay and another string is value value okay so that's how we take two names i am using getter setter okay uh, because i am i already added the library called lombok okay so yeah after that i need to add this or i need to aggregate it into the request detail so let's aggregate it why i created this request detail as a parent class because uh, in future i want to take a pagination sorting and all things so i, I want to concat all the data or or all the request into the one class that's why i use this parent class as a request detail so i am uh, so i am using private search search request detail okay and i again need a getter and setter getter and another one is a setter okay now let's create a api which take a input uh, as a search request detail so actually uh, we already have the api okay so what i do uh, i am going to comment this so anyone can refer it later and yeah just copying and pasting the same api below and remove the comments okay so uh, so as per uh, so, yeah as per the post api uh, we need to get this uh, uh, request detail here directly so i am using a request body right a request body to take the search uh, request detail as a, uh, yeah request request detail as a body okay so the request detail and i need request it to as a value okay so now so uh, let me remove this logic for now uh, or yeah let me remove it and return null okay for now so uh, let's create a service uh, which generate the specification for you so again i am creating the new package the name is service service okay and i am adding the new class okay uh, uh, maybe a filter specification filters specification specification so it is another service so that's why i am using the annotation called service okay and it can take any class as input so i am putting as a t okay so what i done is still that it's like we we have this get search specification method and which take a input as a search request detail search request detail is nothing but this uh, where we are taking column and value as a input okay so i am just uh, overriding it return new specification of the t and here as per the uh, previous lecture criteria builder dot equal root dot get here we need to pass the column name okay and the second attribute is nothing but the value okay it's not fully dynamic till now now from the search request detail i am getting get column right and for the value i am getting like search request detail dot get value okay so this is now fully dynamic okay so in filter controller i am going to auto wired it first auto wired auto wired it 
private filter specification filter specification so uh, where i am calling it means for what class i am going to use that specification i am using it for the student right so i am putting student and the specification uh, reference variable okay student filter specification so from here i am just directly calling for the specification student filter specification oh, my bad student filter specification dot get search uh, specification so from the request dto dot get search specification because we already injected this uh, search request dto inside the request dto and what it will return it will return the specification so we are getting our search specification now what we need to do we just need to pass it into the repository as per the previous lecture so i am just using student repository student repository dot find all uh, and here i am going to pass specification uh, sorry search specification okay so that's it let's run this pro uh, program and test it so first we need to create a json uh, so yeah this is the same api okay so what i am modifying here is the first uh, yeah first inside the request dto we need a search request dto so i am adding this attribute uh, here uh, sorry man. so i am adding this attribute search request dto and what it will take column and value column comma value right let me check the variable name okay c o l u m n v a l u -E. okay yeah so variable names are correct so uh, yesterday uh, uh, yeah let's check with id same column is id and the value is 3 so it it uh, means it should return the same result that is uh, rex uh, with id 3 okay because we are passing id and 3 okay let's run it yeah it it, it returning the same uh, result uh, let's change the column name as a name and uh, we need to pass the pratik okay so i pass pratik as an input and sending the request yeah you will get the pratik if you change uh, the attribute like gaurav gaurav yeah so you will get uh, 